Hello, and welcome to your technique video for the bicarbonate content in an antacid tablet lab. As always, make sure you wear your goggles during lab. All of the solutions from this lab can be poured down the sink. Make sure that you take the time to fully empty your burette into the sink. Prepare your notebook to record your data. You will perform this experiment three times. You will need to record the mass for the watch glass in a string and the mass once the tablet has been tied on. First, take the mass of the watch glass and the string and record it in your notebook. Then take one piece of a bicarbonate tablet. Make sure that it is not too large. We are going to be using a 50 milliliter burette. So while it's okay, as long as a little less than 50 milliliters of gas are released, anything too near to or over 50 will have to be redone. Tie the string around it and double knot it so that it doesn't fall off. Take the mass of the tablet, the watch glass, and string and write it in your notebook. This process will eliminate any tablet loss that would occur when the string flakes off some solid while you tie it. You will also need an Erlenmeyer flask with some acetic acid solution. Now you need to set up the constant pressure gas volume apparatus. Clamp the burette portion to the ring stand like you do when performing a titration. You will fill the burette with water by pouring water into the funnel, then lifting the funnel. The water will flow into the burette as long as you have the funnel above the level of the water in the burette. If it's going very slow, you can squeeze the tubing to push some of the water through faster. Fill the burette as close to the top as you can. It will be hard to set the meniscus on zero, so just make sure that the level is close but not past the zero mark. Once the burette has been filled up to the appropriate level, keep the funnel held at the height of the water in the burette. You should be able to see a meniscus in both the funnel and the burette. These should be kept at the same level, right beside each other, throughout the entire experiment even as the water is moving. Measure the initial volume of the water in the burette. One group member should hold the funnel now while another takes the bicarbonate tablet on the string and places it in the Erlenmeyer flask above the level of the acetic acid. Plug the mouth of the Erlenmeyer flask with the stopper tightly to hold the string in place. When you are ready, tip the Erlenmeyer flask to the side so that the tablet is fully immersed in the solution. You can see the reaction start to take place. The volume will start to drop from the burette, and the person that is holding the funnel should slowly lower it so that the water level of the funnel matches that of the burette. When the level in the burette stops dropping and remains constant, record the final volume. Failure to keep the water levels equal in both the burette and the funnel can result in pressure differentials, which can lead to leaks in the system, so it is really important to keep the levels equal. To start the next trial, you will need to measure the mass of a new tablet. To refill the burette, simply raise the funnel until the water in the burette reaches an appropriate level. If the displaced volume is too small or too large, then you will have to repeat the experiment. Small volumes are often due to leaks in the system. Make sure all of the stoppers are well seated and the tubing does not look cracked. To seat the stopper, you can wet it with a little water before placing it in position. You should ask your TA for help if you can't prevent the leaks. Sometimes placing a small piece of parafilm around each joint will prevent minor leaks. If the portion of the tablet that you used is too large, the carbon dioxide formed will push all of the water out of the burette. If this happens, you should start the experiment over using a smaller tablet. Generally, if you use a piece of tablet that is just less than a quarter of the whole disc, you should be fine. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching this video.